Hello, and thank you for joining this video series. My name is Justin Noonan, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Aruba Switching. Throughout this video series, you'll hear from multiple technical marketing engineers, including myself, of different aspects of the Aruba CX Switching portfolio. We've created multiple demonstrations that fit into the Aruba Switching portfolio, which are tailored for a real world scenario. The real world scenario that we're going to be talking about involves a security camera that needs to access a data center, which contains a facial recognition application. So that way, whoever gets recognized by the application, facial recognition application software can have access into the campus network. And so we'll go through the different aspects that are involved with making sure that happens. But first, we want to lay the groundwork for the Aruba switching story and how it ties into the Aruba Edge Services platform. So joining me now is Ruben Iglesias, who will talk to us more about the ESP story. Yes, Justin, uh, thank you. As you know, in the last 20 years, the main focus of networking moved from all wired networks to all mobile clients. So all clients moved to uh, Wi-Fi. Then the whole focus moved again to the cloud and cloud technologies. However, at this point, we are integrating everything, all of these technologies and the systems extend from the edge to the cloud. The edge in particular is where most of the data is created and consumed. And the edge is where we at Aruba focus as if it, and it is where Aruba networks run. An edge network must provide connection, protection, intelligence, to analyze and act. So Aruba approached these three needs under a single architecture called ESP or Edge Services Platform. The architecture is based on these three technology levels, connectivity, policy, where we define how we protect the network and services where we manage everything, analyze and take action. Wow, that sounds really great. So why don't we start at the connectivity level? What are what are some of the products and technologies that we find there? Yes, so first, at this level, we need to highlight that Aruba implements a unified wired and wireless infrastructure. We will focus on the wired aspect, but it is important to keep in mind the integration approach that Aruba has taken. Now, wired connectivity starts with the switches. Aruba offers a single product line with the same operating system and offering the same operational experience from the branch to the data center. We'll get back to all the models later, but for now, consider the 6,000 switch series as a wide range of options for the access layer in the branch and the campus and the 8,000 switch series for the campus and data center infrastructure from aggregation, core, top of rack, spine, leaf, et cetera. In this layer, you will also find switching and routing technologies. Let's mention some of the most important. To build a network ready for today's challenges, we offer advanced POE features, especially designed for IoT and wired and wireless integration like class six, always on and quick POE. We use VSF to stack access switches like the 6300 and 6200 switch series, and VSX allows us to create fully redundant and highly available nodes for the aggregation and top of rack layers, but it can also be used in other places uh, for to provide that high availability. Finally, our switching technologies provide the option of creating overlay networks using either VXLAN or GRE. GRE allows Aruba to offer user-based tunnels from the access to the mobility gateways. That's awesome. So now that we kind of understand the wired connectivity components, can you also tell us how client data devices and the network in general are protected? Yes, the next layer in ESP describes how security policies are created, enforced and automated. From a product point of view, policy is created and automated using Aruba ClearPass and enforcement can happen at the switches uh, themselves. Aruba switches offer colorless ports 
which means that security policies are assigned dynamically to the ports depending on the type and identity of the clients. Policies are assigned by means of user roles. However, if stronger, more complex policies are required, they can be implemented and enforced at the mobility gateways. For that purpose, user-based tunnels are created so that client's traffic goes always through a gateway cluster where the power of its firewall can be used. Finally, policy can be used to map clients to VXLAN tunnels in a technology called Virtual Network-Based Tunneling or VNBT. Colorless ports, UBT and VNBT, along with ClearPass, are the components of a larger security solution called dynamic segmentation. We will revisit, revisit all of these technologies throughout these presentations and demos. So Ruben, let me, let me just summarize. At this point, we've seen a secure wired infrastructure that integrates well with the Aruba wireless technologies. So how do we approach network management and how is intelligence added to improve and automate these operations? We need to go to the third level of ESP. At this level called services is where Aruba implements technologies for onboarding, provisioning, orchestration, and network management in general. It is in this layer where intelligent analysis and action are taking place. For this purpose, Aruba CX switches support a REST interface and the embedded network analytics engine. And Aruba offers three management and orchestration platforms with different functionality for the switching program. NetEdit, to manage configuration changes easily and effectively. Aruba Fabric Composer, to orchestrate data center networks and integrate them with servers and storage networks. And Aruba Central, either in the cloud or on-premises. Aruba Central is the foundation for AIOps in our Aruba networks. So we've seen these three level, the three levels individually. Can we now put them together so that we can see the whole picture? Yes, sure. In this diagram, we see the whole ESP architecture. We see the three levels. At the basis, we find the connectivity elements that build the unified infrastructure. Then we find the policy layer with the aim at zero trust security. And finally, the services layer where intelligence is added to manage, orchestrate, and provision the networks and its devices. I would like to summarize by highlighting that as we have seen, intelligence to analyze and act is distributed across all levels, inside the switch with NAE, at the policy level with ClearPass and colorless ports, and at the services levels with Aruba Central. Thank you, Ruben, for talking about the Edge Services platform and how switching fits into the unified infrastructure portion of ESP. So throughout these episodes of this video series, we'll be showing demonstrations and talking about features of Aruba switching that can help with a real world, real world scenario. This real world scenario being a security camera having to access a access switch and being able to get to the data center to access official recognition application. So we're gonna go through the steps on how to build this network, how Aruba switching can help to get the camera from point A to point B. As well as we'll be talking about some of the benefits and features and demonstrating some of the benefits and features of Aruba CX switching, especially with the AOS CX operating system. So in our next episode, we're going to talk about the data center and how to provision it using the Aruba Fabric Composer. Specifically with how to use Aruba Fabric Composer to provision the data center switches as well as using the guided setup to configure aspects of it. Mm -hmm.